Shalom, Shalom, brothers. This is Brother Kamal Mahar here. Back at it again. First things first, we'll give up praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the true run from GMS. Blessing to the Aki Madera preaching his word with whole righteous sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000 and one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. The house of David, the Biaf Dawada. And Shalom to brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So today, brothers, I wanted to throw a little jab up um, as far as uh, this video. Uh, not long how, how how long it's going to be, but I want to get to the point. Um, this video is going into these false gods, man, and our, our people, you know, just still dwelling in the you know Muslims and uh, you know the the Buddhism and, and or, or Christianity or you know uh, uh, Jehovah Wickedness. Uh, that's a good one right there. Um, but you know the Lord is uh, very upset with that, and the Lord said to not you know dibble and dabble with these false gods because you know he. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the truest one. You know, it's only one. You know? And so I just wanted to land back, you know, uh um, not even land back. I just wanted to, you know, bring some scriptures out to 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 let brothers know, man, you know what I mean? Like we gotta really, you know, really feel uh grateful and honored to be in this to be in this truth, man, because the Lord, remember it says the deceive and deceive, the uh, the, the deceive and the deceive it is is um of the Lord, man, man, let me get that. And, and, and that's just the reality because it's like, you know, only a certain, only a certain few is getting the, uh, the, the mysteries of the kingdom, man. And the rest are blinded for real. But I wanted to get Job, was that Job 14 and 12? Oh no, 12, 16, Salakia. 12, 16 says, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceive and the deceiver are his. So like, you know, you gotta feel really grateful that you, you have the, you know the knowledge. You got the names of the of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know you 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 got the mysteries and you and you know the breakdowns and and the Holy Spirit is dealing with you when you want the highways and hedging with the brothers. You know following the apostles on down, man. That hundred percent truth. That's very important because if not, you know, um, hey, the Lord not dealing, and when the Lord not dealing, man, that's that's a scary thing, man. Because like it says in um. What is that? Um, Hebrews. Um, I think it's four. No, Hebrews. Uh, no, no, no. It's. Uh, uh, let me see. Was it Job? Job. Let me see. Uh, it's a lock your brothers. Uh, it was. Uh, what's it? Job 14. 14. Uh, Fourteen. No, it's not Jeremiah. Oh, wait, is it? Okay, so it's Proverbs fourteen twelve. It says, "There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death." And so you gotta look at that, like you know, that's that's scary. You know what I'm saying? Because Remember, remember the, the, the deceiver and the deceiver is of the Lord. And is there's a way that seemeth right, but it's the ways of death. And then you got to put that together with the fact that Job 20 and 20, I mean, Proverbs 20 and 24, it says, uh, a man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You see that? So like when you put in perspective that the Lord is only is, 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 is dealing with certain men. And then you, and then you, you know, and then you see other Israelites worshiping Islam or anything else, and they, they're like consumed into it. It's like, oh shit, the Lord got them in a trick bag. So it's like, call Allah Yahab Bashim Yahushah for, for to be on this side. You know what I mean? To be a hopeful elect, to put on as the elect, and teaching the right doctrine, man. Because the philosophies on other sides, man, is, is of the ways of death, man. And the Lord said He's not dealing with that, but if the, if the like, uh, let me see, I'm going to, uh, the precepts are just flying at me, like, left and right. I can go to the typical, um, you know what, even better, Romans, uh, Romans 10 and 2. It says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High. Who is that? The Israelites. They have, they have, they have a zeal. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians. There is a zeal there. They, they, they are what you would call trying to do something or whatever but it says for they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the most high you see what i'm saying that's that's what they not want to do because what happens is um jake will see uh jake will see brothers and the prophets 
and the servants of the Lord on the highways and hedges and we and telling them, well, break down the Quran too. Uh, brothers is, is, is getting skilled with the Quran. They're breaking down well, who Muhammad really was and what's really going on in the history. And they just can't get it. You know, it's like, damn, the Lord got them in a trick bag, trick bag. And that's and, and these other philosophies are a stumble block to our people, man. You know, and it's just like, damn, like, yo, and they just be really worshiping these other gods, man, and he wouldn't stone. And so I wanted to um, shout out to my brother, Arya. You know, real quick, I wanted to get into um, it's uh, Baruch Sick. No, no, not Baruch. It's uh, yeah, Baruch. I thought it was Baruch. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, uh, I, I thought it was Baruch. Nah, um, let's see something. It's not second address, it's Sarat. Nah, 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 that was, uh, you know what, I had written that one down, it's, uh, yeah, Baruch 6, They're like, I don't have a Baruch 6, hold up, that's, that's weird, oh, okay, that's weird, I, like, that's, doesn't sound right, we were just bringing this out, I don't know if this is my app or something or whatever, um, but yeah, that was that was it though. That's that's kind of weird as shit right there. So lock it, brothers. That's uh, I'm, I'm a little thrown off at that. Yeah, nah, that was supposed to be a. Let me go to let me go to group five. supposed to be a uh, wow it's supposed to be actually baruch six i got that written down wow all right well what i'm gonna get into brothers i'm gonna move on um i did want to hit this one though because now the slap in the face the slap in the face is there's going to be a time frame where a great calamity and and, and, and adversity is going to come to our people and what they're going to do they're going to worship allah or they're going to call on allah and there's nobody is going to be able to help them in that situation like, uh, this is a Jeremiah uh, 2 and 28. It says, uh, but where are thy gods? It says, thou, thou, that thou hast made thee, let them arise if they can save thee in the time of trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods of O Judah, right? So like, it says, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. So when you come to some trouble and you, and you screaming on Allah, man, or, 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 Jehovah or Yeshua or whatever, it's not going to go well. It's it's going to be you going to be left on stuck, and it's like damn, it's going to be a slap in the face because right here in um, Acts four and twelve, it says, "Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved." Right? It's only one name. That's Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shah, and if you not call on that. You calling on dead men. It's like you, you calling on nothing at all. Like what I wanted to bring into, um, I'm going, I'm, I'm moving pretty quickly, brothers. Uh, the spirit got me just rolling. I, I'm just kind of, just kind of coming to my mind. But here's a good point. Psalms 115, I'm started too. Wherefore, wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? But our God is in heavens. We have done what uh, he has done whatsoever he had pleased because it's a living power, a, a real power. And their idols are silver and gold, the work the, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak, speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that is trusted in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He is their help and their and, and their shield. Right. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a real power, a actually real living power. And all the rest of these, they they, they worship in rock and mecca. They worship in, you know, wood and stone and chairs and statues and all these different things that they actually don't even move, man. 
like in Baruch 6, man, they're, they're, I don't know what's going on with my app. I don't know what this is. But there is such thing as a Baruch 6. And I, 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 don't, I just don't understand why it's not up there. Um, we were just going into this last camp. So um, I'm a little confused, but it was talking about, uh, roughly paraphrasing, it was talking about, um, you know, statues or whatever and, and idols that don't move and they can't even bend over or stand up. They collect dust and they need to be renewed and washed up on total bullshit, you know, and that's just what it is, man. It's just total bullshit. And then the Lord got them in a the trick bag, man. Let me get to uh, the book of Isaiah. Matter of fact, no, Romans 11 and 7. This is the, this is this is really like the major point of all of these false gods and everything that's going on. The actual main the main point of this thing is the fact that Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel hath not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained uh, 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 obtained it, and the rest were blinded. See, and that's why. So we can we can. That's see when I when I look at other Jakes and um they're worshiping other gods and they doing all these things I automatically think about this number one because you gotta look at it like this one brothers are told that they're wrong and we and they give them they give them we give them the knowledge on what they should be coming back to but you gotta remember this is all for the elect's sake man it's all for the elect so sometimes when we like get down on Jake they are wrong. Of course they are, but it's like I kind of limit myself on certain bashing because I'll be like, "Yo, but you know what though? The Lord got them, got it, got got them a slumber." Matter of fact, going to uh, continue into eight. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. Right. So I I don't really like go toe to toe too much when it comes to um brothers who are. Who are really consumed in these other gods because this is what i ponder on the most i'd be like you know what it's like almost a waste of your time you tell them what you tell them they're going off you know what it really is and at the end of the day though our job is for the is for the elect though so it's like what what, what you want to do is you want to think upon the fact you want to think on the scripture and then you preach the word and let it go out there and then see see if they grab it they don't grab it okay it's not for them boom the, the lord got them blinded they're obviously either a two-third maybe or or it's not their time yet to open up or to be awoken because you know every brother uh, uh was awoke as at different time frames you know so it's like okay it's either two things either either the lord got them as on a two-third where he has a slumber on them and their judgment is was made to be a two-third or they or it's not their time yet to hear the word but the seed was planted so that's our goal our goal is to plant the seed, even though they're in, uh, they're, un, they're in false, false idols or whatever. Because I have seen, um, uh, I have seen, um, I have heard of a Muslim, diehard Muslim, go back to the ways of an uh, Israelite and to the ways of Yahweh Shem Shah. That shit is real. It happened. So it's like, okay, it's, it's, it's either going to be that too. So I don't really go super hard, but I will tell them they're wrong. They're going off. We're going to give them the scriptures, give them the knowledge, and then plant that seed and let it go where it go. Because... Isaiah 11, oh no, Isaiah 55 and 11. At the end of the day, this is also very, very clear. It says, so shall my word be that, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it. So whenever we, whenever we on the scriptures and we actually bring it out, you know, if a brother couldn't get it, then he couldn't get it. Or, or be, because of the slumber the Lord put on them, or maybe at a certain time frame, there's going to be a situation where it's like, pa -pling, and then the Lord put that spirit on them and put that veil off. And now they like, yo, you know what, man? And then start understanding and start being light bulbs going on. And next thing you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's another believer, aka a, a elect seal. And then the Lord going to increase, the, increase their knowledge. So that's what I really, really, really... Um, you know, this video was about the false gods, but at the end of the day, though, our people getting into these false gods is all because of the Lord got them in the trick bag. They're deceived. And whatever knowledge that, the, that, that they're receiving, the Lord is allowing them to, 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 to be consumed and letting them go rock out with that. Because it's their lot to be, you know, everybody's lot is if you were two third, you were two third. If you the elect, you the elect. Remember, this shit is ordained from since the beginning of the earth, man. So, you know. That's what I really, 
I don't really put myself, like I said again, I don't really like, you know, gun hold myself on the fact that they going off hot and fucking nut ass, you know what I'm saying? True. I mean, that energy is, is on an introduction of it. But after a while, it's like, you know, dust your feet off. If it ain't for the brother, it ain't for the brother. You know? So, you know, um, hey, at the end of the day, though, we still, that's a, we still going to tell our people, you go on the fuck off, you, and then you're not, you're not, um, you know, you know, following the law. It was Exodus uh, 23 and 2. It says, it says, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in the cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Right. And 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 following the multitude to do evil is is following other gods. You know, you following other Muslims and you following other drove wickednesses. And, 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 and yo, the name is Yahweh, where Yahweh Shah. No, it's not. My uncle told me it was Yeshua. So I'm rocking with that. Or you're following the multitude to do evil. It's evil to be. Um, out of the marriage of of Yahabashim Yahushai when you when you're an Israelite because that's adultery spiritually spiritual fornication is what that is man you cheating on the Lord man on something that only don't even exist you know so hey brothers I want to just slam dunk with that one you know and I call that a quick jab you know operate this out it was edifying to you brothers man I'm gonna um check into why Baruch six because I'm as Baruch six starting at five is heavy I know it already um, but I don't understand why I couldn't get into it. But maybe another video, I'll, I'll bring it up again through the spirit. But I brought this out, Lord willing, it's edifying to you, brothers. And we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be exists, Bashim the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior. Deliver Yahweh Shah, Bashim the name, and the Holy Spirit of Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on their truth from GMS. Blessing to the blessing to the Akim, dare preaching his word, who are true sincerity. And blessing to our general 44,000 and one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, the house of David, that that would die. And shalom to brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom, brothers.